Hi. This time I'm going to show you how to create a trench between two points uh, and have a shape of the trench as well. So it's not only just a straight line between the two, but it's actually a shape of the trench. I don't have anything logged previously, so I will use the machine to log my start point and my end point. So what I do is from my run screen, I go to my home screen, I select create model. And even though this is a trench, I will still have to use my road model feature. So I select road model, go to the next page, and it will uh, ask for points. And I go to my next page, and here I can log points for my trench. So now I just start to move my machine to log these two points. So over here, I want to have my starting point. So I log that and I can edit the value because I want to be one meter below this. So I go for 24 like that and I press accept. And then I move to my end point and I could have slewed the machine. I could put the end point anywhere and I could also even pick a point from a design here, but I'm just going to create a short one here. And so this will be my end point. I log that one. Since I want to have it one meter below my existing level, I will also change that one to 24 instead, like that. It will be seven meters long. I accept it. I go to the next page. Once again, I have to select my start and end point to align this stretch. I can actually measure more points and there will be more points here. My slope will be uh, minus, two, uh, minus, minus 0 0.2 percent. I accept that. Go to the next page. And now I come to the creation of the cross section of my, of my trench. I want to have it one meter wide to the left and I want to have it flat in the bottom and I want to in, have a total width of two meters so that means I, I apply one meter to the right as well so this will be the bottom of the trench the left uh, edge here should be roughly one meter high and I want to have a very steep slope so I go for 80 percent and apply that on the left and I want to have the same slope on the right hand side so I apply that on the right hand so now I've got the shape of my trench last page I can have a view I can slew it around to see yep looks good to me I give it my name trench one for example and I press my finish flag and here I got my trench model and now when I start to move you can see here I'll just turn it a little bit sideways like that and all the values are now related to my trench so now I can dig a trench and of course I can apply an offset to it if I want that both sideways and height wise that's how to create a trench on the fly in MC1